So, good morning everybody. Happy day four of Spookathon. I was actually listening to the turn of the key while I got ready today, but right now it's almost noon and I am going to head out because I need to run a couple of errands. So I'm gonna be probably listening to more of turn of the key there. Maybe pick up like a coffee or something, but I think I'm gonna bring you guys along with me. Once I get back home though, I still have to like finish editing yesterday's vlog and get that up. I was kind of hoping to do it all early, early in the morning, but it's probably better this way because the video that I ended up posting last night went up at like almost midnight, which is annoying, but you know, nothing to do about it. Yeah, right now I'm just gonna head out and oh my gosh. <sighs> My phone looks like really, really dusty. Like, do you see that? Okay, <laughs> I think it's from the dry shampoo. So yeah, I really like my outfit today though, guys. It's like, I don't know. I've been kind of into like a more preppy look lately. Like I've been kind of teetering between a very casual look and a very preppy look and my face wasn't even in that shot. So yeah, I mean, that has nothing to do with anything. So let's, let's get going. I will update you if I finish Turn of the Key. I think I should because I only really have, I have one hour left. So that's really like 30 minutes because I listen to my audiobooks on two times speed. I'll probably be finishing it on my errands and then I kind of have to find another audiobook. I want to make it maybe one of the ones that's on my TBR. Let's look at what my TBR is this month. We have Night Film, which I kind of want to read physically because there's like articles and cool pictures throughout it, the format. That's really interesting. We have Haunting of Hill House. That one's a potential one because, I don't know, it's a spooky read. I don't know if I could actually read it. Or we have The Near Witch. I wouldn't mind listening to The Near Witch. I've never listened, well, no, that's a lie. Um, I was gonna say I've never listened to a Victoria Schwab book on audio, but I definitely listen to like most of the Darker Shade of Magic series on audio. Maybe The Near Witch, maybe Haunting of Hill House, maybe Frankenstein, because I don't own Frankenstein, so, or no, I do, I do, I do. <laughs> I also have Dracula, actually, on audio, so maybe I could listen to that if all else fails, but I'll keep you updated. Quick update, I wanted to talk to you guys about Turn of the Key before I finished the book because I realized I haven't really talked about it. Uh, if you weren't aware, Turn of the Key is about basically this nanny who gets this incredible job to be a live-in nanny for like an insane amount of money for these three children. There is a fourth child, but like the fourth child's never around. We're seeing it being told after the events after already happened. She's writing it in a letter but she is accused of murdering one of the children. We still don't know which one. And I'm almost at the end and I can tell you, I don't think the killer is who she thinks it is because like we're getting to a point where she's like getting all these conclusions and stuff and I just still don't believe. I don't think it's who she thinks it is. It's really good. I am enjoying it quite a lot. It's been just like an edge of your seat kind of situation because it is slightly paranormal while also just being like, creepy like mundane creepiness and it's just it's really good and we're still just like on this adventure trying to figure out who the heck killed them like it's i don't know i think we're about to reach that part where like everything unfolds we're on the night of the event that happens this all takes place in like under a week which is crazy i don't know so i'm excited though but i wanted to update you really fast before i finish the book now i'm just gonna go maybe get a coffee or a snack or something because i'm kind of hungry and then we're gonna go home. My errands are done. Feels that much, babe. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. need like a minute oh my god it literally just ended turn of the key just ended and i'm in pure shock like absolute pure shock it was just oh <laughs> like i have this really weird uh feeling because like it was resolved but it wasn't resolved if that makes any sense like it, i'm not gonna say anything other than that because i just want you guys to like go into it blind if you're gonna go into it it has a certain amount of completion like there is a sort of completion but the kind of completion that i wanted didn't happen you know I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna breathe for a minute. Oh, I am in a really weird place because I have the closure I needed, but I 
really, really wish that it had gone a different way. It is a five star. My first like real thriller that I've ever read. This is kind of setting the bar pretty high for any other thriller that I might end up reading. Okay, I'm gonna right now edit the vlog footage from yesterday. Maybe after that, we will decide on what we're doing. I still have to read maybe a little bit more of Strange Grace. I had like a little bit of trouble getting into it at first. I just wasn't entirely sure of who everyone was. Like they give you a lot of names in the very beginning. It was a little overwhelming, but now I'm pretty into it, but I still haven't like been completely absorbed into the story. Like I think it's interesting. I just don't think it's like boom. I think I will end up listening to Dracula and Audio. That way I just don't have to get a new audiobook or anything like that. So I can just listen to that. I think it'll be really cool. I've never read Dracula. I don't really know the story very well. I've, I mean, like obviously everyone knows like who Dracula is, but I actually don't know the story. So let's get to editing and then, and then we'll talk. We downloaded Dracula. I already had it on Audible. Maybe like a year ago, I realized that I had a ton of Audible credits and I didn't know what to use them on. And so I just started getting a bunch of classics, which, you know, isn't the best idea. <laughs> Because I feel like classics you can always find, but in my head I was like, I know there's gonna be a one day where I want to read a classic. So right now I'm just downloading Dracula into my files. And then once that's done, I think I'm going to edit an Instagram picture. I know that I said I wanted to do my bullet journal today, so I think I'm still going to try and do that. I just finished kind of doing everything for my spookathon video. So that's uploading right now. My internet's so slow, guys. This is a 20 minute video and, or under 20 minutes? I'm not sure. It's under 20 minutes and it's still is gonna take two hours. <laughs> but I finished my thumbnail for it and I actually really like it. Yeah, I'm gonna wait until Dracula's finished downloading and then I'm gonna start listening. Oh, it's finished, okay. So it's a 15 hour long audiobook. This is one. Spooky. Audible Inc. presents Dracula, written by Bram Stoker, narrated by Alan Cumming, Tim Curry, and a full cast. Ooh! All needless not to serve. I might have to turn it up. Oh, I have it on 2.5 speed. I was like, why is this so difficult? I never listen on 2.5. Yeah, that's cool. I didn't know that it was a full cast. It says it right there, too. You'd think a booktuber would be able to freaking read, but I guess not. Okay, so I am mostly done with this spread. I might just add doodles as time continues, but I wanted to do a little pause right here because the next step that I want to do, I actually wanted to talk a little bit more about. I mentioned this briefly in my 24 hour readathon, but I've been using this cute little printer and it's called Fomimo. This is the brand. I am actually gonna leave a link down below because they have a coupon code for you guys to use if you do wanna get one yourself. But basically it's a little thermal printer and it comes in actually a lot of colors. I chose the black because I've always <laughs> like to black. I have this adorable little thermal printer, which basically means that like it doesn't need any ink to function. It just needs the right kind of paper. And it came with one for me. And then you can always buy extras like on Amazon. So basically how you use it, because a ton of you guys were actually asking me about it in that video, is I personally just go onto Google and I look up any kind of picture that I might want to print. 
And I've been using it mostly for putting book pictures into my spreads, specifically in my favorite spreads or in readathon spreads. So this is the turn of the key. This is the audiobook version because it's a perfect little square, which I think looks better with how I do it on these papers. And then I already saved it. Then we're just going to go into the Fomimo app, which is a free app to download actually. And I go to print images. <laughs> all my freaking animal pictures. I love that for me. So then I click on the picture that I want to print and we're going to press the icon at the top and oh, mine's not on. So the on button is going to just be on the side and you hold it down. It comes with a charger, which is like right here. I haven't had to charge mine yet. I don't leave it on that often. Once it appears, we just kind of press it. And from there, we press the printer again. I always put thick. I actually don't know what this little area does, but I don't know. I'm assuming that it means like the amount of ink that it's laying down. So actually, let's do a couple. So let's do thick to find out what it means. We're gonna say done. And then we're gonna do it again, but in medium. And then we're gonna do it again, but in fine. And it's that simple. It's so easy to use. And I was right. It just means how dark it makes the image. I still think I prefer the thick one. I'm actually going to reprint it. This happens if uh, you don't use it for a while. It like crinkles up because of the way that it rolls in there. So I'm just gonna print one more out. I know that seems excessive. So let's do it thick. Perfect. And all of these print out on a little sticker, which I find so easy to use for a bullet journal. So I always cut the edges off because I think it looks a little better. Perfect. And we just take the sticker backing off. And I am just gonna put it right there. And that's really that. Uh, just I just wanted to definitely mention it for you guys because they did give me a coupon code. If you use it before October 31st, it works. Other than that, it won't. I don't get any commission or anything off of it. They just sent me their printer to see if I would like it and if I did like it to recommend it to you guys. And I actually do. I think that it's super handy, especially if you wanna be maybe a little bit lazier in some parts of your spread. I'm just turning it off now. I always use it to kind of keep track of which books I'm reading during a readathon and I've used it for my favorites page, which I think looks really clean. That's really it. So I hope you guys liked that little demonstration. Other than that, this page is now done. So I'm just gonna kind of fill in the things that I've done already. That'll be that. Actually, the washer and dryer are going, so let's go somewhere quieter. Oh, <laughs> I need a light. So I wanted to give you a little update on just what I've been, yeah, Luna? Okay, we're gonna have some kitty playtime before I do my update because she's flipping out. Update now. Okay, so now that Luna seems a little more pleased, let's give you an update. Uh, so I've been listening to Dracula just like while I clean my house, honestly, and I am, I'm five hours and 41 minutes into it. Honestly, I'm pretty indifferent towards it. I didn't realize, like I know earlier I said, like I don't really know the story of Dracula. I know, Bug, we'll play again in a minute. But it's just so ingrained in like folklore and it, played such a small piece in like every single vampire book that I've ever read that I feel like I do know it just like with the 
<laughs> appearance of Van Helsing and the things that like vampires can do and like the things that that kind of stuff. I just didn't realize it would be so scientific. Like it's really told from like in the form of letters as people journaling their events. Right now we're kind of in a point where two doctors are really like focused on this one patient. The very beginning was a little bit more interesting because it was just a guy that was in Dracula's home and it was just like those sequence of events playing out but then it went into like this doctor kind of stuff and I'm a little bored. It's like pretty average overall. I'm I'm sure this would have been very impressive before I read any other kind of horror <laughs> or watched any other kind of horror really. Like this must have really been scary in the time that it was made and I can respect that and I know it's like a classic so I'm glad I'm reading it but Pretty bored, pretty, pretty bored. Other than that, for the rest of the night, I think that Chan and I are going to have a reading sprint for Strange Grace. We're gonna try to get to page 100. I don't know when yet. We're trying to plan out a time right now. I'll try and maybe vlog a little bit of that and then I might end this vlog early for the night and just call it a night. So yeah, I'll see you when I have an update. It is 7.30 and Chan and I are going to be doing a reading sprint for Strange Grace. I think we're gonna have a check-in at eight. Let's, let's get to reading. I've been loving reading with like this as a little table. This is his new favorite way to read with me. Hey, <laughs> boy. Last update of the night, it is actually much later. I've just kind of been editing the vlog and eating dinner and doing, you know, human stuff. Chen and I ended up kind of doing a little reading sprint for Strange Grace and I think we both got to the same page because we're kind of going by the chapter markers. The chapters are really far apart in this book. They're not really chapters, they're like parts. We're on page 113 now. I'm honestly having like mixed feelings towards it. It's not that I'm not liking it because I actually really am. I just have like, I don't know, there's a lot of confusion that I'm having right now with like the characters and how they work together. This is a poly book, so like I already knew that going into it, but I mean. So the three main characters are Rune, Arthur, and Merwin. And Rune and Merwin, I really like their dynamic. Arthur and Rune, I like their dynamic, but then Arthur and Merwin, I like hate when they're on the same page. It's a very like hate to love kind of situation, but it's not really hate to love. It's like, I don't know, it's weird. It's, I, I don't know. I'm hoping that it kind of clears up a little as time goes and I kind of understand their relationship together a little bit better. Other than that, I am really enjoying the setting. I think that the location and like what's happening is really, really interesting and I like Tessa Grattan's writing. So I'm just hoping that as time goes on, I'll start to like it even more. But that's about it. And then for Dracula, I am seven hours and 34 minutes into it. So almost exactly at the halfway mark, which is really cool. I'm also still feeling pretty like meh about it, but it seems like it's about to pick up again, which is really cool. Like there was just a huge chunk of very like scientific medical stuff going on. And now I think it's gonna get interesting again. So that's fun. And then I finished the turn of the key today. So one book is officially finished during this readathon and hopefully I'll finish more tomorrow tomorrow I do work so we'll see how that goes because I think I work from 2 to 9 so I'll just have to wake up early and try and get as much vlogging in at the start of my day and then maybe do some more reading after work but that'll be it for tonight so thank you guys for watching I had a ton of fun and I hope you did too see you tomorrow Creature